Hey guys, I'm Dr. Nahorshik and today I'm joined by elite weightlifter Darren Barnes and I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial to mastering the power clean. Alright, so first things first, we need to make sure that we're starting off in a great position. So you're going to stand nice and tall, your elbows are going to be turned out to the side slightly. So we're internally rotating the arms. Now <clears throat> why internally rotating? First things first, this is going to turn on your big powerful lat muscles, which are the V-shaped muscles on the back side of your body. That's also going to put your arms in a good position for when you go through the motion of the clean, and I'll have you go through almost like a slow high pull. When you go through the motion of the clean, we want that barbell to stay close to your body. In this position, if we are externally rotated, that bar's gonna pop out and loop away from your body. So we want that bar to stay close to your body and that's shoulder internal rotation at the very bottom of the clean. So we're standing tall, shoulders internally rotated, core is nice and braced as if someone was about to punch you in the stomach. From here, you are gripping the ground with your feet, big toe jammed down. Slight knee wide position to set the hips into a little bit of external rotation torque, but you need to be grabbing the ground with your body weight spread evenly across your entire foot, not all in your heels. From here, we're now going to start the transition into the high hang or down to uh, about just above the knees. So he's gonna push his butt back and bring his chest forward. As he goes down, let's view this from the side, you're gonna see, and let's go through that one more time, this back is gonna stay completely flat. So hips go back, chest comes forward. It's often easy for a lot of early weightlifters, young weightlifters to default and to be in too overextended. There you go, we don't wanna overextend right there, we wanna keep this nice and flat. So hips go back, chest forward. In this position again, his body weight is still balanced across his entire foot. He's not all into his heel, he's not shifted into his toes, right in the middle of the foot, okay? A lot of people will have problems with the rest of the clean because they cannot get into a good start hang position. They're shifted too far forward onto their toes or they're too far back onto their heels. And that's going to lead you to jumping either too far back or too far forward. So the position that you're in right here should be very balanced. You should feel your hamstrings tightening up a little bit. Glutes are turned on. Should not feel this in your back because your core is nice and braced. Elbows are still turned out to the side. Now from here, we're gonna go through this slowly. He's going to extend up the hip, the hips come forward. Notice how the feet are still flat on the ground until he gets into the hip. And then he's going to start going into the triple extension and then the elbows come up as he then pulls under the bar into the clean, into a nice and stable catch position. Now, this clean is a violent turnover. So you should hear those feet hit the ground extremely hard and you're gonna be in a nice stable position. We're gonna go through this again, a little bit slower so you guys can see. Nice and tall position, hips go back, chest forward, keeping the feet braced. I don't wanna see those toes pop off the ground. Okay, then we're slowly coming up, extending through, keeping the feet flat until the last second in which you extend and then pull under the barbell, those elbows come up, very good. Just like that. That's a perfect power clean from the hang position. Now, you can also do this from this uh, low position, grabbing the bar all the way from the ground, if, uh, mimicking as if you had some weights on the ground. Same thing, what we're gonna be doing from this position is starting off the pull by pulling the hips back a little bit. As you can see from the side, our shins are in a forward position. He's gonna start his initiation of the pull by shifting those shins back to a little bit more of a vertical position. Chest is remaining over the barbell. Arm is remaining nice in line. You can see the hips are getting pulled back. The barbell staying close. It then is going to come into the hips as they extend. And then it's just the exact same thing again into the rest of the pull. Again, the power clean, which is different from the full clean, is gonna be caught and received in a position where your thighs are above that 90 degree. Obviously, there's gonna be some people that are gonna get a little bit more technical as far as how high it should be. Basically, if you're above parallel, it's considered a power clean versus a full clean. We don't call it a squat clean in Olympic weightlifting like CrossFit does, it's a full clean. So, uh, that is the clean demo from elite weightlifter Darren Barnes. What we're gonna do right now is get some weight on the bar, and I'm gonna challenge Darren to see who's fastest in the power clean. Ready, go!
All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out today's YouTube video on the Power Clean. I hope you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button to my channel. Share the video with any of your friends uh, that may need some help with their technique. Um, if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer or see any topics in future YouTube videos, uh, please hit me up in the comments and let me know any questions you may have. Until next week, guys, happy squatting. They say that. Energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching? So caught up in their egos, these people have lost.